I've showed you how to put data or put notes into the step sequencer. You can also do this option. I'm going to duplicate this track, all right? And I don't want the events, but I'll include everything else. When I click on this time, I still got my drums up there. Click on it. Let's go to sequencer. All right, minimize that. Now, what I could do is add a pattern. Now, there's patterns that come with this automatically, or you can save your own pattern. So you go up to pattern, load pattern, all right? And then you'll be given a list. There's some templates here. Uh, let's do something groovy, like, let's see, old school. Let's see what that sounds like. And you'll notice that it populates it for you, and then you can play it back. Maybe I like that, maybe I don't like that. If I don't like that, I can change the pattern, clear pattern, and go to load pattern again, and let's do a slow and steady. Okay, maybe you like that, maybe that's what you're going for. So that's another way that you can go about easily putting in some type of patterns. And then once you get these patterns, you can copy it and paste it if you need to. All right, so press control, drag and drop, there we go. Now if I want to adjust, say I want this one to be different than that one, I can put it right in the middle and you can split it. You can right click, go to split, all right, and then press OK. And now you're gonna notice that there's a two here, there's a two here. Now what it does is it basically keeps the properties the same for each one. So if I change one side, it's gonna change the other side. What I need to do is I don't want that. I want this to stay the way it is. I want this one to be different. So I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna go down to unlink step sequencer clips, all right? And now they're not linked anymore. So now when I click on this one, all right, I can click on it and I should be able to change it. Like say for instance, let's do shift D again. And let's say, uh, I want to do another snare. I did a snare right there, snare right there, but and then I want to add some extra heights. Okay, so let's listen to that. All right, so now when I go back and I play, okay, I did it right, and then when I go back and play the whole thing, okay, all right, and that's it. That's all I gotta do. So this will help you out. Now, of course, you gotta go in there, and you gotta change it, make it sound more realistic. Uh, but there's a lot that you can do with the step sequencer and it's very easy if you are a beginner and you don't really feel like playing everything out. Even if you use the virtual controller option, this is still going to be a lot easier to get more precise rhythmic patterns. If you enjoyed this tutorial and you need more help with step sequencers, doing MIDI, doing audio production within Cakewalk by BandLab, definitely consider subscribing. Click the notification bell and make sure that you let me know in the comments what you need to see. I know I couldn't get into everything in this video, but let me know what you need from me and I'll try my best to help you out in whatever area it is dealing with this software. All right, love you all. Take care. Bye.